Welcome to the Deadly Addictions channel. Today I'm going to be talking about Halloween ends. Ah, boy. How do I start with this? Halloween ends is a mess. I guess that's my opening statement here. I don't recommend this movie. It just crushes my love of the first. Uh, hold on. In 2018, they came out with Halloween, and it was the reimagining or sequel to the first movie. And it's this, let's call it Blumhouse idea of Halloween and continuing it from the first movie in 1978. And they made three movies. Halloween in 2018, Halloween Kills, and now Halloween Ends. And I'll say this, the first movie, Halloween, in 2018, I liked it. I took my own head, head cannon and made it c connect to all the other Halloween movies that I like, so I don't care that they retcon things or change things, and in the second movie, was it the second one or whatever, they use a 3D... Dr. Loomis, I, I didn't care. Now, watching the first one in 2018, I was happy Jamie Lee Curtis came back and everything was, you know, continuing the story, although it wasn't what I wanted. I enjoyed the movie and I liked it. Halloween Kills in 2021 is a garbage fest, uh, really a trailer for the next movie which is Halloween Ends, which is a disaster and a mess of epic proportions. And I think I know what's going on here, or what happened, even though I'm a deluded fucking, you know, crazy person. There is one movie idea came up. It was probably pretty good, but it was packed with a bunch of shit, connected everything, and some assholes at whatever this is, Bloomhouse, whatever the fuck it is, Maybe it's David Gordon Green, the director, says, you know, you know what, let's make this three movies. We can make this three movies? Yeah, we can. The first movie's pretty okay. We'll do a little twisty thing at the end, and we'll, you know, we'll prepare it for the second movie. And then we'll take this script that we found from some other movie, and we'll imp imp inject it in here. Make it a fucking shit fest of garbage. And it'll be a trailer for the end of the movie, for the real movie ending. Halloween ends. And then they get Halloween ends and they put another fucking script and do another movie and try to interject this Jamie Lee Curtis, Michael Myers bullshit. And it fucking aggravated me. I can't believe six minutes into the movie, eight minutes, 50 minutes into the movie, I just wanted it to end. So the, the, the title is apt. Halloween ends. It should be Halloween. Please end sooner. You people are just fucking fuck ups of a major level here and i'm gonna be an egotistical fucking asshole you know what hey I'll, I'll take the money for fucking monthly rent and i'll go over scripts and fucking tighten them up you know there are people that do that for a living i don't know who the fuck is driving this pony show but it's fucking stupid i love the halloween franchise halloween one halloween two <clears throat> halloween three <clears throat> season of which <clears throat> really doesn't count I love 4, 5, and 6, the whole storyline with the little girl and the, you know, the sort of cult thing. And then they changed it and they reinvigorated it. And I enjoy the movies. They're not all critically fucking acclaimed movies. It's a slasher movie based on a great fucking 1-2 movie, Halloween 1 and 2, which is a continuation story. John Carpenter, the music, everything worked. It was awesome. Had fun with the others in between. Enjoyed them for what they were. I can't enjoy these for what they are. Maybe the first Halloween from 2018, like I said, I enjoyed it. But they just garbage. I don't know what the fuck they're doing and they're out of their minds. You know, there's a little thing of success about using a script. And I'm trying to think of a... I'll give you a, a, an analogy or, you know, another situation. Die Hard 3 with Samuel Jackson and Bruce Willis was apparently a script based on maybe a short story or whatever called Simon Says. If someone took the script and says, holy shit, we can just put John McClane in as the main guy, and it works. And you know what? I love Die Hard 3. Yeah, it worked. 
yeah, let's make it the brother of the fucking guy, but it's another twisty, and the script is great, or whatever. Let me use it. This is one movie spread out into three with fucking ass wipes writing it and don't know what the fuck is going on. I don't know what gets into people's heads. And yes, maybe there's something about being actors and actresses and where it leads you. But there's no way in my mind to Jamie Lee Curtis, I, you know, a love and adore goes along with this. And there's not some arguments and fucking disagreements throughout this whole fucking production because it's fucking garbage a mess it is a total mess this fucking movie halloween ends spends a fucking hour and 20 minutes or whatever the fuck it is on some new concept that's not new because any fucking teenager from was born it was my age watched the friday watched the friday 13 series where they did the psychological one where Tommy Jarvis is in a fucking institution and is this evil infected? Is he the new fucking Jason? And guess what? They toyed with the idea and they made a little fun out of it and it was, you know, subpar fucking slasher of the Friday the 13th series, but you get the point. You wanted it to wrap up this, oh, is the shape human? Is the shape unsupernatural? And you just fucked everything up. What's my, what's the love here? Yeah, the actors and actresses are fucking good. What do you want me to say? Jamie Lee Curtis, great, right? And, you know, they got this guy, um, what's the name? Uh, something, Patton, uh, Will Patton. I really like this guy from the fucking Punisher movie with Thomas Jane. A fun actor, but what the fuck is going on? Is he, he likes Jamie Lee Curtis, his character, whatever, yeah, we get that from the first fucking movie. But what the fuck is he doing? He's like stumbling around. Because you got this new fucking actor guy. Spoilers. Uh, um, inadvertently causes the death of a child or whatever. And he's psyche. is just like Michael's. And he's dead. Like, I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck about the dumb daughter, granddaughter now. Who's a cunt for no fucking reason. I don't give a fuck about your mob town bullshit. The town gets together, and it's all, you did this, and the other one was fucking gross. Fucking stupid movies. Who put the fucking stamp on these movies? It's fucking insulting and embarrassing. Holy shit. Thank, thankfully, Halloween ends. Someone should come back and just reshape the whole fucking thing. Make a little fucking steam pile rise from his fucking, you know, uh, beef jerkified, shredded sausage body, and... Fucking, maybe, maybe maybe it'll take another thing from Friday 13th. Maybe it'll be like a heart that some fucking more guy eats and he gets infected with Jason. He's going to be reborn at Michael Miles. Like, just fuck off. I am a huge horror fan. I love these movies in general. It's not much to please me with these things. Make a fun slasher movie. You know, even the fucking Halloween 20, H2O and things like that where they try different things. I had fun with the movie. I got through it like, holy shit. This is beating you over the head with fucking bullshit. And then thinking you're going to do the last 15 minutes of fucking, oh, uh, blah, 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 and let's end this. Fuck off. You just have no fucking clue. I'm so surprised that there are people in major disagreements and delays with this movie just to fix the fucking movie. But no, you committed to breaking one crazy movie with so much shit going on into three movies and you fucking shit to bed holy shit like you've got some excellent things going on like prey i did a podcast on that it's a predator sequel made for fucking streaming movie fucking excellent you can take this fucking story it's not that hard john carpenter and whatever just holy shit enough you didn't have to fucking shit the bed. You didn't. You had a pretty decent first movie where you said you were going to continue from the first. You, oh, these movies don't count no more, which was fucking stupid. You could have just wrapped it up as made some overly, you know, or, or covertly mentioned lines that she had many families that he destroyed. And that's it. Like You could have connected every fucking movie except for Halloween 3. She said it, which. But. Garbage movie. Doesn't know where it's going, has no fucking 
through line that's interesting. Who gives a fuck about the fucking granddaughter now and this fucking other psychopath and his fucking bromance with Michael. Fucking gross, stupid shit. And I'd like to make this fucking thing even shorter because I don't want to give the time to this fucking movie. Again, Halloween 2018, Halloween Kills, and now Halloween Ends is this three-movie deal, which is, you know, uh, like, I don't know if I'm saying it right, if it's Blumhouse or whatever, but that's just what occurs to me. And this is like, oh, I don't get it, man. I don't fucking get it. And then they get this fucking Danny McBride, um funny actor guy to help write the fucking screenplay you should just go just you're, you should be embarrassed it's fucking bullshit the first Halloween film in 2018 I'll say it again I enjoyed it for what it was they wanted to make things their own story and continue and I, I went with it the second one Halloween Kills sucks it is terrible it is a fucking hodgepodge mix and cut up of a fucking uh, script spread out way too thin adding bullshit nonsense and then someone came up with the idea to end this and they took the last fucking 20 15 minutes from the original fucking script that had fucking everything and by the way i'm not this is not something i read or anything this is the feeling i get the intuition of just watching these movies just bullshit Again, of course you love uh, Jamie Lee Curtis. She's fucking acting her ass off. What else? But it's garbage everywhere. You know, Michael Myers and this fucking new kid. Just fuck off. You should have committed to a simple fucking structure. And you fucking just fucked everything up. It doesn't work when you get John Carpenter to help with the soundtrack. And I can get the little nostalgia feels. Uh, from moments, because, yeah, you know, you got a two-hour movie, whatever the fuck it is. You know, it's not two hours of complete utter garbage. It is very close, though. But there are moments, you know, you get wrapped up, and there's a moment, because, like I said, these are, people come to act and do their jobs well, but they're paid to do this shit, and at the end of the day, what do they do? They go home, and, you know, they will pat each other on the back? No fucking way. This is an embarrassment, butterflies in your stomach, because you know you made... A shit subpar product. And with the Halloween fucking franchise name on it. This is no artistic fucking view of, um, uh, you know, their vision for Halloween and what it means and what will be the future of it. No. This is just garbage fucking put out what you can to fill the streaming services. To just, just get the content out there. And, you know, God forbid it goes to revert, to revert back to the Akkad guy, right? Because I think it does now. And, you know, what, what he might do. So you took your shot. I'll give you that. The first one, halfway decent movie. I got into it. I'm just such a fan of horror and the Halloween franchise. It, 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 like I said, I made my own head cannon and things pieced together. Every movie that I liked. And it worked for me. And that struggle and realization of where you are at the point of your life and Michael is back again my granddaughter I've, pr- I've trained all this time and you open this movie up with a fucking narration and she's writing a book fuck off this whole fucking thing you got this Will Patton guy from the first movie and I say first movie I'm referring to 2018 because I'm just wrapping the Bloomhouse shit bag all together charming sweet guy what the fuck is he doing like they, they woke him up out of bed just to come out and have some lines of dialogue. But he does nothing. And it's stupid. Give a fuck about the granddaughter's teenage angst and her, you know, troubles in the town because this new kid has troubles in town. And he, he looked into Michael's eyes and he's got the fucking, you know, cooties now. I was, you should have just opened the movie, circle, circle, dot, dot, now I got the cootie shot, and that would have been fucking perfect, because they would have been uh, immune to the bullshit. And it's one thing to come out and shit on movies, but, I don't know, I've done enough of these things, I'm a fucking, I'm a sucker, you know, 
Give me a fun, entertaining thing, and I'll defend the fucking thing. I had somebody on my last podcast, I did, I don't know which one I did, just couldn't believe I fucking enjoyed She-Hulk and disagreed with it. But that's the fun of this thing. That's so much, that's just great. Fuck this movie. Fuck their vision for what they destroyed. They might have started out okay with the 2018 version of Halloween. Halloween Kills is fucking garbage. Mix match of ideas stuffed into this fucking one through line they had. And this one is just utter insulting bullshit. Like, I give two fucks about Laurie Strode's, you know, history and thing, and the town's fucking stake and everything, and how Michael's infection it just spread. You know, just fuck off. It just doesn't work. It's bad. It's terrible. So you got an hour and fucking 20 minutes injecting a slight bit of bromance with Michael in this fucking garbage fest of a movie, and I'm expected to fucking, you know, gravitate to this, um, any of these storylines and feel for them? No. Give no fucks about the granddaughter. Give no fucks about Laurie Strode, Jimmy Lee characters, because it just doesn't fucking matter. All the ancillary characters, the side characters, it's bullshit. And just like they did in the other movie, I think it was really, I think they really did it in Halloween Kills. Just make any fucking extreme idiotic moment a fucking oopsie and let's just throw blood and and, and shit on the screen. Just fucking utter trash. No fucking love and dedication. This is not what this is, which is what I hoped it was. Because believe it or not, I have this impression of Jamie Lee Curtis being an awesome person in real life. Awesome actress, someone I love and my childhood crushes and stuff like that. Well, not childhood, but you know, whatever. Anyway, and so she's elevated in my mind. I get it. I'm biased and whatever. But this is bullshit. And it's bullshit to a highest degree of me tolerating it. It's fucking Halloween. Oh, it's close to Halloween. I watch my, watch my Halloween movies. I watch all my fucking movies. I line them all up and... I watch my Friday 13th, my Freddy's, and my fucking Nightmare, whatever the fuck, and Halloween's. They're all in there. And these movies are fucking out. There's no, I don't give two fucks. You might have fooled me with the first one because I bet you had a decent idea in script. Jamie Lee Curtis approved. Then you get Halloween Kills and Halloween Ends. You film them all probably as close as you could at once. And you just shit the bed everywhere you went and just wiped your shit all over the place. So even though you're walking through these corridors and doors, you can still see and smell the shit everywhere. Because it's meandering fucking nonsense. And I don't care about a partistic vision and this is what, you know, I, I, I give those excuses. Because I try to be honest enough to say I'm not fucking made for this movie. It, but it's got some talent and it's got love. I don't get anything from this. Just shit. I hope you're all fucking proud of this garbage you put out. David Gordon Green, written by Paul, Braid Logan, Chris Berner, Danny McBride, David Gordon Green. You know what? You're all shit. Because how do you fuck up a Halloween franchise slasher movie? You do it by fucking being these fucking little cunts. Like, I can't understand what's going on in this fucking production shit that that is going on. I, I don't get it. John Carpenter, Deborah Hill, you got these, uh, what, John Carpenter even brought his fucking son in on the music? Like, it's not helping. I don't care about everybody's a new theme for this fucking asshole or the cunt granddaughter now and this fucking bullshit uh, psychological twist that you think you're putting in here. Because I don't care, I don't care about anything. You took one halfway decent, and decent in quotes for like horror franchise, movie idea, and you spread it out over everything, and it's just spread so thin, you just fucking flavoring, just, you know, it's like having decorations of something you loved. It's just fucking garbage, I fucking detest these fucking things. It's one thing when I try to give things a free pass, yeah, I'll mention it, Green Lantern, even now, whatever she hulk you know what? I don't give a fuck. I get entertained and I like things. It's not hard to entertain me. I'm a fucking nerd. 
of epic proportions. I play D and D. I love horror. I've been reading horror books since I was six. I'm, I'm just flabbergasted. My mind is just split apart with how could I, even with my friends, sit around and make such a garbage fucking three movie deal, and then bullshit everybody and parading around as some epic fucking artistic impression of their vision of the shape and just fuck off the fuck bill so what does that leave us now it leaves a bad taste in my mouth fucking day before two days before fucking halloween just shit and i knew it was coming in the fucking second movie the signs were there in the first movie again first movie the Halloween 2018 reimagining with Jimmy Lee Curtis, not the uh, you know first one, 1978. Because you got to put this trilogy in the fucking shit box of its own. Because when it came back, and it was probably love and dedication to it, and this is why maybe I enjoyed the first one. Maybe I could have critics say it's not a good movie; it sucks. But hey, you enjoyed it. Hey, you know, watch it again. Fine. Okay. The, the Halloween kills the second one, and this Halloween ends. On at- atrocious. They're fucking insulting. It makes me not even want to go on fucking Twitter. And not that I'm a fucking Twitter guy or whatever. And just see the fucking garbage that's going to be put out for this movie. The fucking disregard for fucking in the intelligence of your audience. And the threshold of tolerating the fucking nonsense. You missed everything. And I don't give a fuck who you brought in. The Danny McBrides. The fucking whoever. Just fucking garbage. I am fucking the easiest person. You know, just, I don't get it. All of you, Universal, Blumhouse, what else you got in here? Trachis and fucking Rough House p- pictures. You should be embarrassed that you took a beloved fucking franchise but had some really good, ingenuitive kills and premises where they twisted things even halloween 3 it which tries to just give you john carpenter's vision of what his original premise was it didn't have to always be michael myers that you know like a quote-unquote friday 13 tv series that the halloween could have just been the staple title and it could have been halloween you know we shit on jamie curtis or halloween you don't have installments but it sucked and it was fucking annoying halloween Ugh, anyway, Halloween 3, Season of the Witch, but when you get 4 and 5 and you get that long girl actress and it's her Jamie Lee Curtis, Curtis you know, character's daughter and that whole plot line with the fucking cult, they're not, you know, most expertly made movies, but I like them. It makes me work my brain and get a new angle on Michael Myers and fucking this Halloween franchise was interesting and kept me going for wondering the guy with the tattoo and this cult and it was a baby genetic like who the fuck knows right and you got donald pleasant's coming back and nailing it every fucking time putting his love into this fucking loomis character and then you get to fucking reimagine the h2o's the resurrections and twist you know people they have tried putting their little and they've done it okay you have fun with these movies it's not hard to have fun with these movies. You can't have fun with these fucking movies. Because now looking back, even though I liked the first one and enjoyed it, you know, it's probably the signs were there of how fucking terrible this was, how, where it was going. You know, in my own thing, like I'll watch the first three episodes of a series to see if I'm going to like it, if I'm going to dedicate myself to it. Right? This is the first movie I got hooked because I'm a biased nerd who loves it and like I said, I like fucking Green Lantern. I like fucking She-Hulk. What do you want me to say? This is not good music. This is not good movie making. Again, maybe, you know, you find some love that John Carpenter helped with the music and stuff. And you find a little nostalgia thing you can pick out. But in the overall, this is garbage. The writers should be embarrassed. And sadly, the actors should be embarrassed. This is no way you come out of this, put your name, you come back, Jamie Lee Curtis, and it's this shitty, and it's this bad. You know, I don't want to find out, like, something like with Bruce Willis, where he had a medical condition, now you find out, 
you know, he's been doing 500 B movies and they're dubbing his fucking, they're putting in dialogue from other movies and stuff. Okay, I get it. I feel bad now. Bruce Willis is not doing well and he's got a disorder. I fucking, I, if I find out that shit about Jamie Lee Curtis, maybe I'll, you know, retract my statement and feel bad. But fuck all of you for doing this. You're just fucking dis just disenchanted with this whole fucking thing. And that's hard to do for me. You know? Admiral Nerd, fucking my nerd badge. I just revoked my friend, you know, Demi, her fucking nerd badge, okay? That's the authority I have in the nerddom. And my horror geekness, you know, was the first thing I fell in love with. My mom would read, give me the books to read. And of course, science fiction, whatever. But this was my core. Christine, the thing, the fog, whatever. We want to throw more in there. Just born in 71, it just became part of my life. These things are epic to me and hold a special place for me. Just shit on it and fucking produce this fucking garbage. And there you go. Now you've got this special thing out there, right? You've got your own little three Halloween package deal. And it's my artistic in interpretation of where, where we, we would have gone with Laurie Strode and... Fuck off. Such narrating nonsense. Trying to recap things and encapsulate Michael and, you know... You know, you just fucked it up every step of the way. Every step of the way. And you know what? I, I don't know. I'm going to put this in the same category, but you know what you could say that about? Like the fucking John Wick movies, right? I mean, they're way better than this, but the first John Wick movie is fucking amazing, and I love it. If I compare it to the 2018 Halloween movie, uh, John Wick is way better. So the drop-off and disappointment goes. But when you get John Wick 2 and 3 and they're just a fucking bloated extended trailer for some vision, artistic impression, you know what? You can go fuck yourselves. And there you go. Keanu Reeves is a saint on this in this world. Might be no truer, better, good-hearted person ever in Hollywood, maybe even the world. So, Keanu Reeves, I love you. You're a fucking awesome person. But those John Wick movies, just garbage re you know making up new fights and stuff and i get that and by the way they're way better than this i'm just trying to give you my feeling of you know john wick the first one you loved it it was unique in its its own way and it just they nailed it and then they made this fucking action nonsense fest and dragged it into another movie which is just a long drawn out trailer with this character off i done better than this but it's just a feeling I get. Like, I give no fucks about John Wick 2 and 3 and whatever is coming. You know, I, I love that first. And it won't spoil it. Like, there's nothing these cunts can do that's going to make me hate the first Halloween movie. Or talk bad about John Wick, the first movie. Or The, the, the Matrix. Let's go there. Another Keanu Reeves thing. The fucking first Matrix. Groundbreaking movie. It set things on end. It turned things up and reinvigorated this, you know the movie industry for that aspect. I enjoy the second one and the third one. Well, you know, anyway, I just, I ramble on with these things because I get so passionate about it. You know, these are the things that I love. And when you get to know a part of me, it's what, you know, makes me who I am. And, you know, we have this bundle of momentum and experience and life and everything. And you just want to escape and, Find yourself imagining, and especially me, where I go and I go lay in bed later and I make advent adventures for my role-playing stuff. I don't generally do that with the fucking horror stuff. But my friend who played a couple of times, I, we did a fucking, it was, we played on a Friday the 13th, so I threw Jason in. And it was more of a Marvel superheroes type thing, and it was, Mephisto was behind it. But anyway, I'll take inspiration from anything. I get the giggles and the loves and the nostalgia feels and just ride it. I don't care sometimes how bad it is. And I try to acknowledge it, yes. But this is a sign of maybe a new trend. Let's just fucking... This is some of the fears you see uh, for the last 20 years in Hollywood or online is, you know, what are they doing to the franchise? You know, the beloved fan franchise. 
Let's take the Predator, right? They did a Predator remake a couple years ago. It was fucking garbage. Robocop, garbage. The Fright Night remake, eh. But the original Fright Night, fucking beloved, one of my most beloved movies ever. And you won't ruin that aspect, so you're not going to ruin anything. So yes, I guess you make, take a chance and have your vision go out. But you know you took this one little sliver of butter on your knife and you tried to, you know, cut three loaves of bread and spread that butter on all, you know, just bullshit. Surface level nostalgia shit and someone's idea of twisting this. Who's the shape? What is the shape? Is he human? Is it evil? So, you know, it's, it's the culmination here is this external evil and this internal evil and internal evil is worse. And, you know, just fuck you. You gave me a couple of fucking kills and you gave me, gave me the Jamie Lee Curtis nostalgia feels. You know, that guy, that patent actor, fun, you know, he's charming and good, you know, vibes and, you know, where he might have been going, but they do fucking nothing with it. There's no tissue that feels like this three movie arc had any purpose other than fucking some deluded fucks you know wanting to play with the action figures from halloween like i don't get it you know they had their little fucking play sets and they did their shit and you fucked it up in my opinion these movies garbage it even makes the first one from 2018 worse this is the same effect with the Star Wars movie. The Force Awakens, they gave it a pass. Charming. Just fell in love with Daisy Ridley and that charm and the atmosphere of it. And then they just shit the bed with the other two Star Wars movies. And now I don't give a fuck or even watch The Force Awakens no more. I'm so honest with my appraisal of it and whatever. Halloween, maybe my favorite horror franchise. Just maybe the childhood origins of so much stuff in my life that makes me turn to horror and why it impacts me, why it impacts a certain, you know, population and just, holy shit, you just, just fuck these things up. I don't know. I'm going to start, I'm going to end this here because these things, will, this will just, just keep making me bring up fucking nonsense because it's insulting and it pisses me off a little bit. It's not just wasted time, but it's an investment in the love of these characters. And this, you know, stage setting, simple music, impactful, makes you feel something. Clever, slow burn into a world of madness and fear and terror. No, this is a shit fest of epic proportions. Don't watch it. Halloween ends. It ends. And just leave it at, let it end. Don't even fucking watch it. Although, yes, I know this will be something that people have to watch because, like me, you just have to know. You have to watch the train wreck. So, I don't even have much good shit to say about this. And I tried to, you know, put it in there. You know, Jamie Lee Curtis, the, the Pat, there's some actor stuff. But most of it is fucking garbage, bullshit. Constant annoyance and fucking dragging out bullshit, trying to invest me into nonsense with this stupid fucking new thing, and it's just bullshit when your movies now, these three movies, are fucking just a hodgepodge of shit, where you're just avoiding stepping in the shit as you walk through these three films. So, congratulations, you know, I'd love to come on here and at least give some sort of you know, praise for like, you know, hey, I liked it, but it sucks, and I'm, you're not going to spoil my enjoyment of this, and no, this is just aggravating, wasted opportunity bullshit. You know, we got the rights, it'll revert back to someone, let's do shit, and let's just fucking smear our shit all over the walls, and hopefully it doesn't leave that lingering smell and decoration of fucking garbage and shit everywhere. So, there you go. My Halloween ends fucking podcast. Holy shit. Did I not want to do this? I even fucking gave the first one a pass. Like I said, that Halloween 2018 reimagining continuation. And the second one, if you remember my podcast, was a fucking maniacs made that movie. And guess what? They let the maniacs make this movie too. 
I don't give a fuck what you are, what your name is. You just half ass shit on everything that I liked about Halloween for the most part. Anyway, hope everybody's doing well. Have a wonderful Halloween. May you get much candy and love. Thank you, everybody. Till next time.